Okay, so you're in the market to buy a home in Metro Phoenix, but the obvious question, how much does it really cost to buy a home? If you're a new, to a new home buyer, that's a fair question, but you'll find that almost everybody assumes you already know all the answers. How could you? Hey everybody, I'm Mike Zahn with the XP Realty and the Live Local Group. If you like what you hear, hit that like button because, well, it helps us reach more first-time home buyers just like you. So let's get started. There are several times you're going to have to reach into your wallet when you're buying a home. Let's take them one at a time so you know what they are. We don't like surprises. The first is for your earnest money. Earnest money is the amount of money you put down when they accept your contract in order to show that you are serious about purchasing the home and you, and won't, you won't just, just willy-nilly willy -nilly change, change your mind, mind and back, and back out, out of the, of the deal. deal. It applies towards the down payment, but like I said, it needs to be paid when they accept the contract. How much is it? It's generally from $2,000 to $5,000 depending on the size and the cost of the home. Now obviously, the more expensive a home is, the more earnest money is going to be required. So for example, earnest money on a million dollar home might be as high as say $10,000, whereas the earnest money on a $250,000 condo would more likely be around $2,000. Then once you're under contract, there will be some other charges. You'll need to do a home inspection in order to make sure that the home and its systems are in good working order. The home inspector typically checks about 200 plus items in the home, and those inspections run between $375 and $500. If there's a pool, it can run $75 to $150 bucks more. Again, for a very large home, I've seen them run $1,500 or more, but that's for a very large home. <laughs> If the home is older, like 40 years or so, you might need a sewer inspection, and that can run you $300 to $500. If you choose to do a roof inspection, those are typically $1 to $200, but your home inspector will check it and let you know if you need that. Next, your lender is going to require you to have the home appraised, and yes, of course, you get to pay for the appraisal. That typically runs about $450. And yes, I've saved the most expensive parts for last closing costs. These costs include loan origination fees, any discount points, lender charges, title company fees, title insurance fees, government and HOA fees. They commonly run five to six thousand dollars, so make sure you ask your lender what their fees will be so you know up front. And as of this video, about a third of the sellers were willing to help pay these costs, but it's not guaranteed. When you close on the property, the down payment that's required to be paid, that is, the down payment for the home, it usually runs about three to three and a half percent of the property price. Although you can choose to put more down, assuming you're buying a $400,000 home, your down payment could be about $14,000 at three and a half percent. So adding it all up, the home inspection, the roof, the sewer inspection, the appraisal, your closing costs, and even your down payment, your fees can be as high as $21,700 on a $400,000 home. Keep in mind you can sometimes get the sellers to pay for up to $10,000 of these fees, and some lenders offer incentives for first-time home buyers. You can also have blood relatives gift you some of the down payment money, so there are options for you if cash is a little tight. If you want to know what those options are or discuss them a little more, book a call with me in my Calendly link down below. I'm really a pretty easy guy to talk to. And to help you find your new home, make sure you check out our website down below, metrophoenixliving.com. We update it every five minutes to bring you the latest homes available. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe because we post new content every week. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.